Welcome back to the Vandy Sports Podcast. I'm Joey Dwyer here with Vanderbilt's newest signee, Karis Bilal. This one feels like it's been in the making for a long time. Karis has been committed for over a year, closer to a year and a half now at this point, I think. Karis, thanks for joining me. And what did it mean to finally make it official today? Uh, it meant a lot. Um, Just being committed for so long and just developing a stronger relationship over this year and a half. It just I've been uh, anxious just to uh make it official and just – uh, make it just one step closer to actually being on campus. So yeah, it just it, it's really good. For sure. We talked a lot before and it seems like you had a hectic day, obviously had school and then had to sign and had a scrimmage tonight. Can you take us through your day and all the motions of it? Yeah, it was I just uh, packed the day. It was just a uh, uh, thing after thing. I So I woke up, I just, I signed it. Uh, the signing was at nine. So I, I don't have a first period class. So I just went straight to my signing. Um, a couple other, uh, athletes in my school were signing. So they went before me. I think I went last. Yeah, I went last. Then, uh, I'm, I'm off, uh, a few of my family members, uh, came down from, uh, Chicago and Kansas city. Mm-hmm. And yeah, they, uh, came to my signing. So I did that. I signed. And then after that, I just went through a couple classes. I had a couple classes. I had a couple virtual classes. Um, and then. I think after those two classes, I went straight into a uh, pregame. We had a pregame meal. We had like some sub sandwiches, and then <laughs> uh, just yeah, we had some sub sandwiches, <laughs> drank some water, uh, got some shots. So we got a, a quick workout in before the game, and then rest my legs and then played. Where are the sandwiches from? Uh, Publix. Oh, perfect. Yeah, they're good. That's like the best answer you probably could have said. <laughs> All right. You mentioned having some family in from Chicago, and I assume there were some other students there with you that you've grown up with when you signed. What did that mm-hmm. mean to you to have all those people in there for you? It was, it was really good just seeing all the support from uh, all my peers and just all the people I've been, uh, even my teammates, just the people I've been knowing since I was a freshman. And even in middle school, just, it, was, it was really good just having all those people there to support me. For sure. I talked to Tyler Tanner earlier today, and he mentioned you guys were – texting back and forth a little bit. What type of communication have you had with people inside the program over the last 24 hours, I guess? Um, I just, yeah, me and, uh, yeah, Tyler, we, uh, like, we exchanged uh, on Instagram DMs. We DM a little bit. Uh, I know uh, Malik Presley, uh, he's on, this, on the team. Uh, he commented on my post. Uh, I remember, I think after uh, the my last visit is when, um, I start. I think I uh, uh, followed and uh, uh, people on the team really, and uh, started like getting in uh, contact with them really after my last visit. So yeah, with you being committed for so long, and obviously there being a little bit of staff turnover, what's your relationship like with those guys, and how have your relationships formed with the new guys, especially? Uh, it was good. Um, so I had my visit last year. Um, I think. Some of those people, some of the uh, people on the team I saw twice. I saw my first visit and my second visit, so I got even more uh, familiar with them. And then even the new uh, guys were cool, so it, um, it was easy uh, to – yeah, we're glued pretty well, so I can't wait to uh, get there. For sure. You planning on coming back to see a game this year before uh, making it official in the summer? Oh uh, Yeah, for sure. Yeah, most definitely. For sure. Obviously, being in the class for that long uh, – I'm assuming you didn't have any second thoughts based on our conversations, but what was it like throughout that whole process being committed? Do you have a target on your back at all? Do you feel like being committed that early? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, especially, yeah, just uh, during the season, just even uh, like the crowd and uh, student sections, just being committed. as I think I committed like right in the beginning of my junior season. And yeah, just that whole year, I think I, I feel like I had a little target on my back. For sure. We caught up this summer a little bit, and you mentioned starting to play now. How do you feel you guys can take a step forward this year, and what's your game going to look like this year? Um, I think uh, our team made a huge step based off this scrimmage. I think we're going to be really hard to beat, and I feel like I made a huge step in my game too, just getting a lot better, just more consistent in my jump shot, just uh, more explosive off my uh one foot takeoff and just more explosive overall. I just feel like I feel like a, a new player this year. I feel For like sure. I'm a really good year. 
I'm expecting more of those finishes around the rim in the summer. I, I couldn't believe that. I mean, we, we'd seen some dunks and stuff, but man, some of those finishes around the rim and on the circuits were unbelievable. But uh, another guy who played on a pretty similar circuit, and you mentioned him a little bit, Tyler Tanner, saw him sign today. How excited are you to share the backcourt with him? And I guess your skill sets seem to complement each other pretty well. Yeah. He's a really good distributor and obviously a scorer as well, and you seem to be able to do both as well. I think we'll complement each other well. I think we'll play really good together um, in the uh, backcourt. Um, I remember uh, watching a few of his uh, clips from the EYBL uh, sessions, and he looked he looked real good. Um, uh, yeah, he's a he's a really good point guard, I think, and I think we'll definitely play uh, good together for sure. For sure, Jamie Vincent's also a guy who was on campus at the same time you and Tyler were. From what Tyler told me, do you see anything from him? That guy seems like he has a unbelievable ceiling. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and his height to be shooting that consistently was really surprised. Was really good. Like it looked, it was pretty uh, uh, cool for me to see. He's he has a really good shot, especially. Yeah, I've seen that on a visit. Yeah, he for sure definitely sky's the limit. For sure. What are you looking forward to most once you get to Vanderbilt? Besides, you know, interacting with your favorite media member. Uh, I'm just looking forward to um, just helping uh. A team win and just also just starting uh, a new chapter in my life and getting my education uh, and just, yeah, just being, having a college experience. Karis, I know we got to be professional and such, but I better get a head nod at Memorial next year. You better not. <laughs> don't forget about Alfreda, Georgia, Karis. Yeah, you know, I'll be, I'll be here, but <laughs> forget about me already. Yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the rest of your goals for this year and what you want to accomplish at Riverwood before you leave? Um, I, I have a few goals. I, th I think the number one goal that I've been having is just the state championship. I think that's one of the things I've been missing. Um, That's definitely one of my goals for definitely a, for a team goal, just winning state championship, re two, a region championship and a state championship this year. And then I think in the next, in the first couple of games of the season, I'll hit 2,000 points. That's an accolade I think I'll get. And then obviously other awards like player of the year. Gatorade Player of the Year. That's the award, uh, award I would like. I want to uh, get. For sure. You want to plug uh, J.R. Leonard and your brother again? We did that in the summer, but go ahead again if you want. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, this, those are my uh, running mates. Uh, both of them are going to – us three together just are probably going to help our team – are going to lead our team to a, a state run this year. And they, they look real good. I think J.R., uh, he gets better and better every time I see him. And then obviously see my brother every day. We're working at working with him personally. I know he's gonna he's gonna keep getting better for sure. For sure. J.R. Leonard seems to just be taken off. Obviously got the Tennessee offer. I'm I'm gonna take a moment and appreciate you here. I think you were right in the summer when we talked, but yeah, we're for sure. seeing that come to fruition. Uh before we head out, can you just tell me what your message is to Vandy fans and to the staff and everything on your signing day? Uh, I just want to say uh, I just can't wait to get there and uh, make an impact. And I just can't wait to uh, get on campus and just, yeah, just get, I can't wait to get there. Can't wait to be there. I'm excited. For sure. That's all I got. I appreciate you, Karis, and thank you everybody for watching.